Alkaline water, does it actually help your health? I mean, it's everywhere and it has been for a while, right? We see it in grocery stores, we see it online, there are ads for it. People can even buy their own machines to kind of make it at home. You can also buy a bottle, all sorts of things. But the thing is, you know, and the question we're gonna to answer today is, does alkaline water help your health? Does it give you health benefits? Is it better than regular water? And speaking of regular water, um, I drink water. Actually, you know what my favorite water is, to be honest with you, is it doesn't have to be Perry, but I love sparkling water. Um, I like the kind of like the fizz at the end of the, you know, the gulp. <laughs> anyway, point being is water is very important for us. We know this. But the question is, um, is alkaline water better than the non-alkaline water stuff. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen, it's great to see you. Um, I've got other videos on alkaline water. If you're interested in this type of content, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, for those of you on Facebook, please like and follow the page. All right, let's get into it. So let's talk about these uh, benefits. They say that alkaline water um, helps. Uh, well, first of all, alkaline water is more alkaline, which means the pH is higher um, than uh, theoretically than other water that's not alkalinized, okay? Now, because of this, companies and, and different places say that alkaline water may allow you to feel or become more hydrated, say after a workout or whatever. It gives you more hydration. Um, some people say that actually alkaline water helps you prevent disease or even cure disease, some of the claims. Some people say that it can help diseases from cancer to all sorts of other things. Um, other places uh, and other organizations say that uh, alkaline water helps neutralize acid in the bloodstream or in the body. Um, plenty of others. I mean, I've heard things from my reading from my list uh, may help slow bone loss. I mean, honestly, the list goes on and on and on and on. But the question, once again, is does it really do this? Should you spend your money on alkaline water, give up the regular water, buy a machine or buy, buy bottled alkaline water? Should you do this? Um, let's first talk about acid-base balance, okay? And that's probably the biggest thing that people tell me that alkaline water is better for. They say, well, it keeps you from being so acidic. It helps neutralize acid. Well, the thing about it, and I've said this before, I'll say it again, is if we needed a specific type of water to drink to keep us from becoming too acidic, we would be in a lot of trouble, let me tell you. And also think about it this way, before alkaline water became a thing, we didn't have alkaline water, so how, how did we do well then? I mean, maybe a little tongue in cheek that phrase was, but you hear what I'm trying to say. Um, going back to this, if we needed alkaline water or some substance like this to keep us from being too acidic, we would be in trouble. The good news, and this is excellent news, is that our body does a great job of balancing out um, acids and bases in our body. And thank goodness for this. If we didn't have this, we wouldn't be alive. If we couldn't correctly and appropriately balance these acids versus bases, it wouldn't be compatible with life. So some of the organs that help do, it, do this, um, we've got the kidneys, huge, right? Super huge. We also have the lungs deal with car carbon dioxide and other substances. We also have the GI tract. Uh, we have a number of systems in our body and others that actually helps us deal with acids and bases so that our body can basically not become too acidic, not become too basic or alkaline, etc. So from that perspective, and it's a good thing, you don't need alkaline water to help you balance the acid in your bloodstream and your body, etc. Once again, thank goodness for that. Now, as to whether it's more hydrating or not, well, I think that that's probably subjective. You know, that's a subjective claim, meaning um, some people might feel that they're more hydrated than, uh, than, than when they drink other water. Other people may not. And look, I respect it. If somebody, and I want to hear from you guys, by the way, if you drink alkaline water, I want to know what benefits you feel like you get from it, et cetera, right in the comments. Um, but somebody saying they feel more hydrated, that's a subjective comment. Again, I can appreciate that. Totally fine. We are all different people. Does it sort of um, definitively do this? I don't know that we have any evidence that says that it gives you sort of a more hydrated state or that you are actually literally more hydrated by alkaline water. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, the other thing is disease prevention and disease sort of curing. And again, every company has different claims. Every sort of article you read will sort of say different things. Um, this, is a, this is one we don't have hard, hard 
evidence that it does, okay? In terms of whether it's fixing diabetes or heart disease or cancer or whatever it may be, we don't have hard, hard evidence that alkaline water is going to be the savior for that. So it's important for you to know that. Now, there have been some small studies done on alkaline water and things like acid reflux and maybe weight and stuff like that. Many of the studies we have are smaller studies or maybe have been done in animals. In other words, not great studies and not studies that we can really hang our hat on and say, aha, that's the key. Uh, in fact, I'm saying, aha, we don't have the key. That is not necessarily the key. Um, this is also uh, the thing. Uh, remember, too, that we can go overboard with things. Now, I do say with alkaline water, just as I do with other things, if you're interested in taking and trying alkaline water, I'm not necessarily here to say it's harmful. I'm not saying that necessarily uh, because I can't speak for you. I can say that many people could probably drink alkaline water and be just fine. In fact, many people do. I always say as a doctor, check with your doctor because your underlying conditions may be such that your doctor may say, no, nah, let's not let's not do the alkaline water. Um, so if you're interested in trying it, just run it by your doctor first. Um, I would say that there are probably some people that may be, uh, your doctor may say, I'm not sure that I want you doing that. Maybe if you have certain types of kidney disease or other things, again, not your doctor, just throwing that out there. And I should also say that I do believe it's possible to go overboard on most things, right? We want to do pretty much everything in moderation. It's not good to do too much of most things. So that applies here too. I want you to keep that in mind. Um, but this is the thing, you know, when it comes to these things, and um, it's really important that we're talking about this because, you know, buying something like alkaline water or a certain product, it doesn't even have to be this. Uh, it may impact your uh, wallet. What I can say is that in my opinion, my medical opinion, I think regular water is just fine. And I don't know that I have seen any data that compels me to say that alkaline water is any better or that it does many of the things that companies and many organizations claims that it does. With that being said, and I've said this before, if you're interested in trying it, talk with your doctor, make sure that it's okay with you. Um, as for me, um, this is kind of where I'm, I'm sticking to. I'm sticking to regular water. I, I'd say the most important thing is that you are drinking water, that you are staying hydrated to the level that you should be. And by the way, everybody should get different amounts of hydration. You know, people with certain kidney problems, with, with um, uh, lung problems, heart problems, they may actually have to limit how much water they drink, believe it or not. Don't assume that more water is better. A lot of people think, keep drinking water, keep drinking water. You can actually run into medical problems from drinking too much water, and in particular, those with underlying medical conditions. So uh, once again, things in moderation, but staying hydrated is important. I want to know what you think. Like, is this your deal? Do you love um, uh, uh, alkaline water? Let me know why. Let me know what you do. I want to know right in the comments. Um, and let me know what you think. Um, I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you learned something from it. Let me know. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. Um, for those of you uh, on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. For those of you on Facebook, um, thank you so much for liking and following my page. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Also, guys, check out my website, drjencardle.com, uh, for uh, my exclusive, uh, to sign up for my newsletter, um, and also for other exclusive offers. Guys, I'm Dr. Jim. I'll see you soon.